Hello everyone, I'm Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about if a narcissist wants to see you again. Do they secretly wish to see you again? The relationship is over, but maybe they're still contacting you. Or they're spying on your social media and you can still feel them energetically. Does it mean that they want to come back to you? Or that they feel bad about how they treated you? What is going on in their minds? Because they may still be communicating with you. And maybe they're watching you on social media. So what is going on with them? Why are they still there? Do they secretly miss you? Do they wish that you would be together again? The truth is that the narcissist would only want you back for narcissistic supply. They would only want you back for you to give them attention and validation to where you feel responsible for their emotions and you strive to make them happy. But they will not do the same for you. So it's not really about you. It's transactional. It's about what you can provide to them. They're not interested in growing with another person or in anything that involves two participants. They want it all to be about them, which is why they want you to give for free without them having to reciprocate anything. And that is the only thing they're ever going to miss. They will never miss you as a person. They will miss what you can provide. So even if they do want to see you again, that's the only reason why. They will crave and want this from you, but they will be unable to pair bond with you. Which is why it's very difficult to have a healthy relationship with them, because it will only ever be superficial. There will never be any substance or depth. There will never be an emotional or psychological side to it, because they cannot develop a healthy attachment. So it's all about what you can do for them, and they will never go any deeper than that because they have disconnected from their authentic selves. So they do not have that depth of emotion to give to you, which is why they often try to trigger reactions in you, because that's the only thing that brings them any sort of fulfillment. But they can't connect to you. There will never be any emotional or psychological depth, because in order for them to do that, they would have to connect to themselves, which is something they're never going to do because it's too painful for them to do that. So instead they wear a mask. They hide their thoughts and feelings of you, which is why they lie to you, because they feel guilt and shame as a result of their past. So now they have an inability to connect and attach to people, which means that they can't make you win because there's trauma behind all of that. So they can only let you in so far. And if you try to go deeper, they will become very defensive protect themselves from their own trauma and emotional pain. They have a dysfunctional ego, which inhibits their ability to bring meaning and the elusive quality of love. As a result of dysfunctional parenting, which may have been oppressive, abusive, invasive or neglectful, this dysfunctional ego is designed to protect them, which is why they will seem cold, distant and unfriendly, or even detached, withdrawn and it makes it impossible for the relationship to progress to the next level because they have certain barriers that they will not let anyone through. Which is why they are unable to connect with you. And instead they can only see us as people who confide something to them. So it can only be conditional and transactional. They will only give you attention if you can do something for them. And if you can't, they will punish you. This is why they find it so easy to replace you because they're disconnected from themselves and you're wanting a connection. And there's plenty of other people out there who are also disconnected from themselves and aren't going to demand a connection from them. People who will also provide for them. So when one person can't provide them with something, they will just find something else because they view people as objects. So you are expendable to the narcissist, which is why these relationships never last. 
because they just take bits and pieces from everyone around them in order to sustain themselves and that's good enough for them. They're not interested in any connection. They don't want to commit to anything. They don't want to give because in order for them to do that they would have to be emotionally and psychologically present and they don't want to be there. They can't miss you because they don't even miss their own authentic selves. So the only thing they can miss is you being disconnected from yourself to where you're then giving things to them for free because they don't know how to give. Which means they also can't recognize the value of what you're giving to them because a person must sacrifice something of their own in order to fully recognize the value of what they're receiving. And because they don't know how to do that, they're left with a skewed idea of love. They may love bomb you, mirror you, future fake and gaslight you, but none of this is generated internally. They learn all of this from you or from previous sources of supply. So gaslighting is second nature to them because it's what they have to do to pull you into the shared fantasy. All they really want is for you to believe in them because your belief holds a lot of power. But with time, the relationship does become very dissatisfying because it's all one-sided. They can't reciprocate what they're getting from you because they can't connect to you in that way. They can't even connect to themselves. So how could they ever connect to you? They can't give you what you're looking for because they lack self-awareness. They're not consciously aware of themselves so they will never reach their full potential of what they could otherwise be in a relationship because they can't even fulfill their own basic egotistical needs. And they would have to fulfill those needs first before they could provide anything to you. So they're not going to miss you. Whatever they found in you, they will look for in other people. They will replace you. And even though it may not be someone who is as great as you or someone who is on your level, they will find a way to convince themselves that it is the same or better. Because it's all just fabricated in their minds. You never meant anything to them. So it was never going to develop into anything more. Because they're not capable of that. They're not capable of it with you. And they won't be capable of it with anyone after you. Because this is who they are. They're not meant to be with you. That is why they lie, manipulate, love bomb and gaslight you because they already know they're not deserving of you. They can't even meet your basic relationship needs, which is why relationships with the narcissist often don't last for long. All they can do is deplete you. These relationships only last long term when the victim is complying with their demands because that's what they're looking for. They're looking for someone who will love them without conditions or limits. So it's all about what a person can provide to them. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.